I hear thunder. Yep, we've got a storm coming. So I've got up the um, lightningmaps.org site. I'm here. And as you can tell from all this lightning strikes in here, this is where part of the storm is. There is storms further south. This is down Cambridge. This is Suffolk. This is Soham. This is Cambridge. It's not a bit further down. So many yellow dots now, I can't find it. There's Stevenage. Yeah, this is getting worse. This is coming up. So at the moment, we've got this little one around here. And that is actually, I've been watching it. And sort of gradually moving at an angle like this. So I think we are going to get skimmed by it. I can hear the thunder already. But as you can tell, it's not actually anywhere near us yet. That is roughly, I would say, I guess, about 20 miles away. Oop. I'm just going to wait for it. Should hear a thunderclap. Yeah, I can hear a rumble. And like I said, we've got this lot coming from down here coming up as well. If I um to scroll out, it's almost too far out. The um, zoom in feature on this is very, very touchy, but if you look down here, I'll just let the map load. <laughs> The problem is when it's all this lightning strikes, look at all this lot, all down south, and it is all making its way up. Whether if this cloud is actually going to spread out, it hasn't made its way this way while I've been watching it, but it has been making its way up. Um, so yeah, see, there's lightning strikes here. So I do believe this one is actually going to hit me. I don't think it will be a very big one, but it is taking its time. Oh, hello, we've got one right out at sea. Just a random lonely one right out at sea. <laughs> I don't like watching this. This is good, because if you get a weather forecast of storms, you can actually come onto this website, and you can physically see the path, like I know this one is actually coming straight up near enough um, so I've got a funny feeling this one hasn't really moved that much to be honest it's sort of lingering looking at the map but this lot is coming up so if that sort of bumps into this one then uh, yeah, I think we could be in for another nice storm but uh, it's not going to be me sleeping for a while. But uh, yeah, storms is an interest. I do like watching them. I do like watching the lightning. Yeah, there's a weather forecast. That's part 33 minutes ago. A good one over one, which is there. But uh, there's another patch here. Oh, that's getting quite big. Look at that. It's definitely getting closer to my town now, which is here. Eep. If we go by these as well, if that's going to keep moving up, then uh, it might be a good couple of hours or so before I actually go to bed because uh, I do like to watch the lightning. If, um, if I do get anything somewhat decent, I might try and get the camera out. I've tried it before with this one. That doesn't really pick anything up. Ooh. Oh, heck. Yep, we're going to be in for a hit. Unless it's going that way, then of course it's going to miss us, but... Uh, looks 
like Chrome is going to be in a direct hit, and Chrome is there. Perhaps not. So I've put the camera down. So there's some more out here. So I think it's sort of covering that sort of area at least. <laughs> There's a pub, a um, group here that um, is all about countryside photos, and people like to get the um, lightning photos. So I've basically just said, get your bums over to the coast if you want to uh, get some photos. They'd want to be somewhere around here, sort of between Cromer and back, and I would say at the moment. I did hear a nice rumble after that one. How busy it is down here though. Yeah, that one is actually moving at quite a fast pace actually. I mean, I've been watching this one and it's taken for the past... I'd say about 20 minutes and it's taken 20 minutes to get from here to there. This lot started way down here and it's already up to there. So this one's moving pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> well, I think that one might miss us. I think the one I'm going to worry about is this one, because that seems to be in the past. But yeah, that is taking its sweet time. This is a worldwide map as well. I think I've mentioned this before, unless I delete the video. See, so you've got the thing down here. So you, it's set on the Europe at the minute, but you can um, change it. See, there's America and whatnot all up here. Let me change it. Go on down, Captain. Mm. In one of them daft moods. Oh. Yep, the thunder's getting more frequent. So it is true what they say, you know. Thunder does get more frequent the closer it gets to you. But uh, I don't know if counting the seconds between the lightning strike and the thunder is actually an accurate... Ooh. Oh dear. I think that's right over where Mum is looking at that. Let's zoom in a little more. Yeah, it's not far off. That's where Mum is. And uh, <laughs> if it's going this way, like I said it is, and yep, Mum's going to get it as well. Oh dear. <laughs> it come out a little bit. I only rolled it once and it comes out that far. Uh, it be interesting... <laughs> I've got my mum into the map as well. <laughs> I'll just send her a message saying, map's good, isn't it? Right, well, I just wanted to basically show that. that we've got a storm and the sort of toys you can play with on the um, internet. And I know this is pretty damn accurate. Because when we had that big storm two weeks ago, you'd see the lightning outside, and literally two or three seconds later, you'd... That was a nice clap. 
you'd see it um, come up on here. So yeah, and Swatham's got some more. It went quiet out there. Anyway, I'm gonna go and storm watch. So uh, see you later.